In this video we're going to take a look at the Sick Teacher Challenge on Hack the Box. It's an easy crypto challenge and it's the first challenge we'll be looking at in the crypto series. The description says, can you break the cipher? Please submit the flag in lowercase. And uh, I solved this challenge over three years ago so I can't remember what it entailed. So it'll be new to me. Let's open the file. We have sickteacher.txt. So we'll copy this to our local directory and let's do some file checks. So let's just print the file out first of all. You can see that we have some encoded text here. One thing that I noticed straight away is we can still see the number. The number hasn't been modified and here we have a hundred. Um, so potentially this this might have I've had a rotation performed on it. Let's take it to, we could take it to a couple of different places. I normally use Cyberchef now, but decode.fr is another popular one where we can go and try Caesar Cipher. And actually, if we look at the full list, there's a lot of different tools that we can use here for decoding. And some things are available on here that aren't available on Cyberchef. But I'm going to paste it into Cyberchef. I'm going to take a look first at the ROT13 because I feel like that's the most likely, but it's not rotated by 13 anyway. Let's okay. Let's let's go through all the possibilities. Once we get past 13, we're not going to see anything new anyway. Um, all right, let's. It's not. It's not rot 13. Let's try and throw the magic operator at it, which will just try to. It'll try to do a variety of things. It's not actually doing anything for us there. Magic. We've got the depth. Let's say that the known plain text string. Uh, it's not going to have. It's not going to have HTB in it because. I see specifically they've said that the flag is lowercase. All right. It says, "Can you break the cipher?" So. What else can we try here? Let's have a look, see if we can XOR it. XOR brute force. Let's disable this. And if we XOR brute force and say the key length is one, we can go down here and see do any of these start to look like recognizable text? Again, if we knew a crib, if we knew what kind of plain text to look out for, that would be handy, but we don't. So we can try and change the length. Oh, it's getting too long now. All right, let's clear the recipe. Let's see what else we've got here. A cipher. So it specifically said cipher here. So I'm just searching in Cyberchef cipher, and we'll try and run through a few of these and see what works for us. So we can start with the at bash cipher, which is a monoalphabetic substitution cipher originally used to encode the Hebrew alphabet. It's been updated here to use the Latin alphabet but it doesn't give us any recognizable English uh, text there anyway so let's move on this converts numbers into letters and vice versa no use for us here because we're not dealing with all numbers bacon cipher decode is not looking particularly useful no let's clear that um we have bomb okay bear in mind this is an easy challenge let's check out substitution it could be a substitution cipher um can we brute force substitute though Text encoding, brute force, XOR, brute force, and magic. But we don't have brute force for substitute. Hmm. Let's go to our decode.fr and see if we have substitute in here. Substitute. It came up there. Where was it? It came up. Substitution. Okay, can we let's try and paste this in? Uh, 
decrypt automatically. There we go. You can see it's not quite got it. Hit sorry of hack she box. But um it's got close hit sorry of hack she box. So what I'm gonna do is grab this substitution alphabet. I'm gonna paste this in here. Oh what? Is that not that's not looking the same? Uh okay. Is this is this the substitution? Where is the alphabet that it used? Oh it's right here. Okay, so we use this. We'll paste this in here. And we have the flag. History of hack she box. Let's just try and see if we can fix that. I'm going to swap the T and S around. Now we've got history of hack the box. That's looking good. Let's convert this to lowercase. Um, uh, I'm not too sure how to do this in Sublime text. Convert case lower. Okay. Let's just make sure sure it's the correct flag. Incorrect flag. Oh, uh, hack the box. Challenge 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 already solved. Okay, so that was the right flag. Um, okay, so it's a substitution. Cypher, we uh, brute forced it, essentially cracked it with decode.fr and then just went and manually fixed it up with Cyberchef. So I'll leave a link to both of these crypto tools. These are both going to come in very handy throughout the exercises, the crypto challenges. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks.